Basically, in verse 2, it says that the dragon uh, gave him power and great authority. So this man gets from Satan, this Antichrist, false authority. Then it says, um, it, he was mortally wounded in verse 3, and the world marveled at, at him coming back to life. He has a false resurrection. This is really an Antichrist. Jesus said, all my authority comes from the Father. Satan said I, to this Antichrist, I give you all my authority. Jesus Christ rose from the dead, and so Satan makes this man look mortally wounded, an assassination attempt. Everyone sees him die. I mean, he's probably shot in the head or something, like you know, Kennedy or Reagan they tried and others, and, and there on TV he's dead, and then all of a sudden he comes back to life. See the benefit of... Facebook Live, you know, and television, the whole world, it says, sees this. So um, it looks like in verse 18, he, he offers a false citizenship. It says, um, uh, and all who dwell on the earth who worship him, whose names have not been written in the Lamb's Book of Life, slain from the foundation of the world, they take his, his mark. They become his followers. So he offers people, earth dwellers, earthly citizenship. He'll be their leader because he rose from the dead. He has great authority. Not only that, he has a sidekick, this false prophet. Do you know what it says that the false prophet? Verse 13, he performs great signs so that he even makes fire come down from heaven to the earth in the sight of men. Can you imagine? I mean, there'll be crowded cell phones and the Antichrist will say, Oh, follow me, I am the great divine one. Watch this. May fire come down and burn that up, and it does. And it's not the Death Star, it's probably lightning. Can you imagine being able to call down lightning? You say, are you kidding? That's what he does in Job. Satan sends lightning, and it strikes the flocks and burns up the shepherds and the sheep of Job's huge uh, ranch that he had. Satan does the same thing. So Revelation 13 is interesting. Basically, what are we seeing in Revelation 13? We're seeing what Daniel said in Daniel 7, 8. This is the ultimate Superman. This person has the most powerful being ever created in the universe indwelling them, and they can do supernatural things. He is a incredible, super intelligent person. He is an incredible communicator. Uh, if you've studied history, uh, Adolf Hitler was a premonition of what the Antichrist is going to be like. Adolf Hitler stood in Munich and had uh, 50, 60, 80,000 different accounts of brown shirts. Brown shirts were kind of like a club Hitler started. And all the young people, the youth of the country, wore a brown shirt to show they were in the club with him. And he spoke in Munich Stadium to them. And he spoke for hour after hour, and the news people that took pictures of it, the films that are taken, and those that reported were there, they said that, that his face was contorted, Hitler's, and that he spit, and spit was running down his face, and they said his eyes were wide, and his hair was just like this. And he sounded like he was crazy, the descriptions. He was. He was being a conduit for Satan. Because at that moment, Satan thought that was his man, his world ruler, that Satan's always wanted to rule over all humanity. Since the Tower of Babel, remember, they were united into one false religion. He's always wanted that. Hitler mesmerized people. He was a super communicator, despite the spitting and the messy hair. It said that those students stood, and it started raining, and they never moved. And when he got all done, they all said, we, you know, the, the high Hitler thing, we will go to you and follow you to the death. And you know what historians think? Most of them did. You know how many troops Hitler slaughtered against the Russians, you know, in all of his campaigns, and finally against the Allies? They followed this super amazing communicator. Uh, well... The person of the Antichrist is described from 12.17 to 13.2. Basically, he focuses on being in place of Christ. Not against. It's almost like um, marginalizing someone. You know, you don't really attack him. You just kind of push him to the side and everyone forgets about him. That's what's